Okay, just a quick one for some of my friends out there. If you haven't noticed, well, <laughs> I'm looking at a map here from Frio Mar Carta, 457 through 459 AD. Uh, this map, well, I've been going through several other old maps, <laughs> and you notice something strange about this map. Do you see here is Italy? Okay. This is the way I found several other maps. Oh, I'd say from uh, anywhere from 400 years old till 800 years old. And I'll go through a few of them with you. And you can zoom in. I'll zoom in here. And there are some really interesting points I want to bring out of what I found in my research. Yeah, I can always explain this to one friend on the telephone, but what good will that be? And I want to uh, share a little bit of the insight I have on this subject that I already received from a, a friend in South Africa. Okay, as you can see, this is Africa. Okay. We know that it was very much more a white continent, and I will show you why. But all of this up here, you have know, all these kingdoms and so forth. Seems a bit odd. Some people looking at <laughs> these castles and uh, fortresses and uh, things in Africa. What is this doing 500 years ago? more than 500 years ago, <laughs> almost 600 years ago, we're seeing all these castles throughout Africa, okay? All throughout Africa, many old castles. I mean, this just blew my mind. All right, Th this is Africa, and this is the map right side up. Now, let's go through a few more. All right, and uh, this is a map from Angelina del Cert. This is from the 1300s. Are you already noticing that a lot of the words are upside down now? <laughs> I can flip it over for you so you can kind of get a better idea. And let me go out. You can see here's Italy. As you see, there's Spain. There's Africa. All right. There's Africa down here. I'll show you some interesting things again about Africa. It's, it goes all the way over here. All right. Well, up here, you see, here's, of course, this is where the Netherlands and this is England. This is Ireland. Here you have the Rhine River. You have the Swiss Alps, the Danube. Okay, Denmark, they have all the normal features here. Poland is a little bit more predominant. Poland is actually, seems kind of far away, but it's right here. You see how even Poland, the word is upside down? You see Germania, Germania, okay. Alemania, you have the Danish uh, royal crest. And that one is actually upside down. Wow, look at that. All right, now let's move down, move down, move down. Now you see s some of the letters are going this way. You see how now they're crossed a different direction. All right. Going down, going down, going down. Now you have some stuff that looks right side up. Okay, we're down in Africa here. This is... Uh, this is part of the, I really don't yet understand why, but several of the maps, okay, here's the border of Africa here, okay? Here's the Mediterranean, but for some reason, and I'll have to research it, why several maps have this big black thing. I don't know if that represents the Muslims or what it is, okay? But here's the Red Sea, here's uh, Saudi Arabia, okay, let's go in there. It looks like a, a queen in Saudi Arabia. 
a white queen. All right, you have uh, Palestine. Okay, going back down. Now, important things here. Way down here in the south of Africa, you have this guy. All right, does he look like a African? Uh, and you have all these castles. What are all these great, uh, looks like kingdoms, uh, European kingdoms, down here, all throughout Africa, all right? What is this all about? What's going on? <laughs> anyway, this is the only thing that's right side up. Then when you look at the rest, it's all upside down. Okay, but you can see that's again pretty good uh, map. Again, this is from Angelino Dulcert from uh, I think it's around 1330 on this one. Okay, I, I'm just going to flip to the next one. Well, I couldn't leave out this one. We have a uh, pretty nice map here. Let me see if I can get it so everyone can see uh, uh, flipping over here uh, this is the Sali map from 1100 or 1110 AD it has uh, let's see if I can show you a better view Okay, it has angels at the top and at the bottom. Here you have Ethiopia or Africa. Now let me get a different view here. Okay, this one is with a little bit uh, of a better overlay. So you, it's been redrawn so that you can get a, a good idea. Yes, again, from 1100 AD. Very important here, Red Sea. Here you have, uh, I believe this would be, a, a, here's Jerusalem. Okay, but notice how Ethiopia is oriented and then you have Africa. You see the rivers in there. Maybe our friends from South Africa can kind of explain these rivers and what all this is. You have Africa. Yeah, as you know, this is no professional recording. This is just for a few of my friends. So I don't have to just jump on the phone and say, Hey, man, check it out. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys real quick so uh, you can see. But yeah, I believe that is still uh, the Red Sea, and you do have Africa there. Uh, yeah, just zoomed in a bit better here. And, you know, you can pause this and do a bit more research while I am uh, panning through and I'm going to go down a bit. There we go. This is all Africa. Huh. What are all these castles doing in Africa? All these kingdoms. What's that big white king doing down there at the very bottom? of these uh, and what's going to get interesting is in the next one you see these guys here these monsters or these uh, non-human uh, creatures here that they supposedly had there must have been some sort of war but um, this is all definitely Africa you have all these African animals but then you have these these guys what's this guy See his face and part of his body here? Alright. Quite interesting, huh? Now I'm going to get into the next slide that I think is really the most interesting one. <laughs> okay, now this is the crowning item, although it's not going to be the last one. This is the largest medieval map in the world, and it has some very important things to show you, okay? It's called the Salter map. 
Uh, it's from uh, around uh, 1200 AD. And Jerusalem is at the center. Give me just a moment. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit. You can see Jerusalem. Now again, huh. hold on a second. This looks upside down now, doesn't it? I don't know if you can see, uh, but this is Egypt. You see the, I think this is an obelisk of sorts. Okay, just so you can uh, first of all see, this is South Africa, people. All right, let's go down so I can show you a bit more. All right. Okay, uh, this might be a little uh, better to see Jerusalem, Rome, Roma, the Alps, the Alps, these uh, great rivers, I think this is Spain, uh, like we covered before, the Danube, uh, I think this might be the Netherlands here. All right. So this is the north. This is the north. I hope that's clear. This is the north. All right, so then this would be the south over here. Anyway, some interesting points on this map. Look at these alien races here, all living under the ground. All the different creatures, all the different monsters. All right. What are these little eyes? See the eye here, and an eye there, and eye there, and eye there. Eyeballs all over the place, and rivers that come out from them. Here, here. There were some very important things. See these dragons. These were important to put in maps before, and they huh, should probably still be in the maps today. What they call legends in some of the maps, of course. You know, and uh, but here you have what are all these really looks like oof, I don't know what cities and things all down in Africa. Looks like they have more there than they had in Europe. Okay, well the point a friend was uh, was sharing was, look, uh, it used to be that in Africa, well of course you had these uh, these areas where Abraham left, uh, Abraham's children left. The scripture says they went northwest to become a multitude of mighty nations, but that uh, there's basically some sort of extinction level events going on. The scripture even talks about two-thirds are going to die of plague and famine, one-third is going to go into slavery, and who knows what else is going to happen to the earth. And it says that Yahweh will make a man so precious and rare that it will be harder to find a man than it will be for the finding the golden wedge of an ophir. Okay, and this is a, was a very rare type of gold <laughs> that almost no one could find. And it could be like the Abraham style, where he had to get multiple wives. He had to totally build up his own nation. He had to build altars. He had to tell his children, get out from among them and be separate. He had to tell his children, only marry ch the women who are of your own lineage. And they sent special, you know, they had to go outside of the Canaanite tribes to go to those special lands where there was those who are of the same Hebrew lineage. And these kind of things we might be seeing soon among the Adamic and kindred peoples. And here you have, we're going to probably have to be going back to South Africa. As you can see on the maps I've shown you, that is the north. Well, maybe it's not north. But it could be, it's supposed to be at the top of the map. Okay. 
I think we have our, ma our maps backwards. Okay, uh, Europe has become death traps for our own people and we'll have more freedom if we all move to Africa. Yes, here are the original and uh, more correct maps like from the 1400s. This is at the top of the map. You see the these words are right side up. Let me just show you some more words here. Ethiopia. You see that? You keep going. Keep going. What do you have over here? Let's just show you. Look. I zoomed out. Here's Europe. It's upside down. Alright? This is all upside down. Except for uh, perhaps yeah, we're, we're all looking at everything upside down, actually. Well, you see, the the drawings are right side up, and the letters are right side up. But what's this doing? <laughs> what's this doing? I think, uh, you know, we have some educated people, and they know what's going on. What an amazing thing, huh? Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Alright, I'm going to get into one more slide. And before I do, I will show you the way that other websites list this photo. <laughs> they list it like this. It looks like our normal our normal uh, types of maps with Spain and France, you know, Great Britain and so forth. But when you zoom in, what are you looking at? All oh, the letters. Egypt. <laughs> I started to say, what in the world's going on? What in the world's going on? <laughs> Anglia. Oh no, <laughs> it's upside down. You see? The, the the other websites list this upside down. Now this is right side up. Let's go up here where it's where it belongs. Okay. I just have to share this and I'm just telling you how and what I thought when I saw it. And I'm just circling around it a bit so you can also get an idea and see more detail of the map. I'm getting in all through the edges. But um, the orientation of the Earth, yes, it, I think it's important, okay? And if for so long this is right side up I'm sorry folks I think it's kind of important and I think the more correct ways although yeah they say they didn't know it was round no <laughs> even the Bible King David said that the earth was a, was a sphere they all knew it was a sphere it was just some small debate in one place or two they had trade with you with America okay there was plenty of travel and even the oldest maps that have been found also have the continent of America on there so don't tell me they thought the earth was flat nobody thought that except for a few people in some cave okay next and now one more looky here what do you have here Europe Europe it's all down here, okay? I don't know if you can see it well, but uh, it's upside down. This is Europe. Of course, they tore out part of Germany there. Uh, that's a shame. I don't know why they did that. Maybe some secrets we need there, but... Yeah, these, uh, these older maps, this is the... Uh, if you want to look it up, there's the name. It's Storfer Mapundi. Uh, this one is also about a thousand years old. Very important things in here. Creatures and 
things that we should really know about. Pretty good resolution copies available easily online. But here is, uh, I believe this is all part of Africa. And looks like white people were there. You have again lots of monsters and animals, okay? It's good they put that in a map. I mean, you want to know what's going on. But yeah, here we are, Africa. You have all these castles and so forth. Again. Just going through here. Zooming out, all right? Look at all that. Look at all this. What is this? What are all these monsters doing in Africa? Huh? Okay. I believe this is Jerusalem again. Galilea. All right. Okay. Yeah. You can pause it if you like and look through this a bit more. I'm just going to go through the up to the north of it. <laughs> but you know, it's funny. All right. Looks like the north here is east actually, but Yeah, east is a better place to have at the top of the map, perhaps. Some uh, might argue that, but uh, it's just to show you the different ways people can be thinking what is really the right side up. Now, I don't like this, how they patch some whole area again, and they have a big hole in Germany, but um, this part this whole patching business, I don't know about that. But, uh, yep. I would say, uh, <laughs> what happened? Did a pull shift happen? <laughs> what should really be in our minds at the top of the map? Shouldn't it be? something more biblical and where we should be orienting ourselves it's this over here was called the ends of the earth where you had Great Britain down here in this bottom corner this was the ends of the earth all right Great Britain ends of the earth I think it's somewhere around here all right, well, that's all I have to share on this, and I hope uh, you found something interesting and in what people thought before. It's not, uh, I know there's been a lot of slander and a lot of attack against what people thought before, but there was a lot of knowledge and even uh, more knowledge in, in some areas, very much more scientific than what they have today. Sometimes I wonder, and I can see many examples where they were much more advanced in the uh, well I just noticed something they were you see the feet here you see the hands the hands and then you see the head so it's uh, basically saying the church body I think the church body of Yahshua of course they called him by different names but uh, pronunciation is quite close no matter which name they pick but I don't know if that, yeah, okay, all of the earth. I don't know if that's what they mean by it, but um, sure belongs to him, and he is the word. The word was made flesh, and the word is what everything is built upon. John chapter 1, verse 14 says that he is the word, and the word, the spoken word, is what made the, the planet and holds everything together like the glue. Okay, and he's the light. So uh, let's uh, praise our King Yahshua and uh, let's uh, see what we can do about these truths. All right, and uh, take care. Keep it in prayer. 
and maybe if you can see, yeah, there are some things going on in the world, and there's some overthrow going on, and the whole government's pretty much uh, gone to nothing in South Africa, and it may end up being a, a sort of refuge, even though some might think it's third worldish to kind of live there, it still may be a, a better place, and there might be still much more freedom of religion. Take care. Yahweh bless. Bye-bye.